Okay, in this example, we want to evaluate and sketch the region determined by the bounds of the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the integral from 0 to 4 of r squared sine theta cosine theta dr d theta. Now, if we want to first look at our bounds of integration, the dr is our inside bounds, and the d theta here describe our outside bounds. So our bounds are your lower bound for radius, or we can call it an inside radius, is equal to zero. And then your upper bound for your radius, or you can call it an outside radius, is four. And then for your bounds for theta, you can say your lower bound for theta or your smallest angle theta is equal to zero to your upper bound for theta or your largest angle theta is equal to pi over four. So we can use these bounds to sketch the region that is determined um, and get a sketch where your radius is going to go from zero to four and your angle theta is going to go from zero to angle theta of zero and an angle of pi over four. And the radius again goes from the inside radius of zero to an outside radius of four and that's constant. So the region that is determined by the bounds is this sort of pie shape right there. Now this is not vertically simple, it is horizontally simple, but um, since we're using polar coordinates, we can say that this is r simple. The radius from the inside is zero to the outside of four to the angle of zero to the angle of pi over four. This is our, our region. Now let's evaluate this iterated integral. First looking at the inside, where the differential is dr, so you're going to treat r as a variable and treat theta as a constant. So it's going to be the integral from 0 to pi over 4 times the antiderivative of r squared, treating all of this as a constant, is r cubed over 3 times that constant sine theta cosine theta. And then we're going to evaluate this for r equals 0 to r equals 4 theta. Now if you substitute in the upper bound r equals 4, plug in 4 cubed is 64, so we get 64 over 3 sine theta cosine theta, and plug in 0 you get 0, so you get this single definite integral. You can use u substitution to evaluate it, however um, I'll go ahead and give you the, the final answer when you do solve this, you get the answer is 16 over 3. Okay, I won't spend the video time to go over that, but what you would do is using u substitution, I would let u equal sine theta, then du would have to equal cosine theta d theta. So this ends up being um, an integral of 64 over 3 of u du and then you would have to adjust the bounds. Okay, in this example, we want to evaluate and sketch the region determined by the bounds. Evaluate and sketch the region determined by the bounds of the integral of 0 to pi over 2, of the integral from 0 to 1 minus cosine theta, of r sine theta dr d theta. We can first look at the inside bounds, since your differential is r, dr, so uh, the inside bound for r is 0, and the outside bound is 1 minus cosine theta, and then your outside differential is d theta, so your bounds from 0 to pi over 2 are for theta. The, the bounds, again, you can say your inside radius or your smallest radius, is r equals 0 to the outside radius or largest radius, r is equal to 1 minus cosine of theta. 
and then your bounds for theta, your smallest angle, your lower bound for theta is theta is equal to zero. So the largest angle theta, or your upper bound for theta, is equal to pi over two. Now what I would suggest is for this one, um, it's r equals zero, it's kind of straightforward, but the r equals one minus cosine theta, you can use parametric mode on a graphing calculator. I'm sorry, you can use polar mode on a graphing calculator, or you can convert that equation into a rectangular equation. And um, see that this is actually the graph of a circle, half of a circle where r goes from zero out to that one minus cosine theta, and the angle goes from zero to pi over two. So this is your, your region that is defined by the bounds. All right, now let's go ahead and evaluate the inside integral. Since the inside differential is dr, we first integrate with respect to r and treat theta as a constant. The antiderivative of r sine theta is r squared over 2 sine theta. And we're going to evaluate r from 0 to 1 minus cosine of theta and then d theta. And when we evaluate the upper bound, we get the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of the quantity 1 minus cosine theta squared over 2 times sine theta d theta. Now you can use u substitution to evaluate this single definite integral. In that case, I would let u equal 1 minus cosine theta and then your du, the derivative of 1 minus cosine theta, would be your uh, sine theta, d theta. So this, we can write this as an integral of u squared, your sine theta d theta is your du, with a 1 half out in front. And then you would also adjust your bounds of integration. When you do that and evaluate, you get that the answer for this is 1 6. I'd like to point out here that the bounds of integration, if your if your original lower bound for integration was theta is equal to zero, then if you put zero in for theta here, one minus one would give you your new lower bound of zero. And when theta is equal to pi over two, and you plug that in, cosine of pi over two is zero, so you get one minus zero, you would get one as your new upper bound.